Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp signs the Anti-Terrorism Awareness Month proclamation. More on that story in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the August installation town hall focuses on back to school. A look at National Light Out and some networking opportunities are coming up. These stories and more, but first a brief reminder for visitors to Fort Meade. Due to a reduction in manpower, the Visitor Control Center at Reese Road and Maryland 175 has changed its hours. The new hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Additionally, on the third Wednesday of the month, the hours are 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. In other news, this month's installation town hall focused on the upcoming school year. Guests included Kimbrough Commander Colonel James Maker, who talked about sports, physicals, and immunizations. School's liaison officer Meredith McCandless reviewed some upcoming back-to-school events, and special guest Anne Arundel County Board of Education member Gloria Dent promoted the Be Present initiative. Be Present brings community members into the schools as mentors and volunteers to help ensure a safe and orderly school environment. One of the things I do want to highlight as we're getting ready to get started back to school, and I'm excited about this, is that it's got this great initiative called Be Present. Yeah. Uh, the Be Present initiative has gotten great reviews, and I'm encouraging everyone to continue to uh, be an active part of Be Present. I think it gives us an opportunity for to put the community back into our school systems. Uh, and also for you to get an opportunity to get your input in how our schools are doing. There's much more back to school news from the town hall. You can watch it in its entirety on our Facebook page. Meanwhile, August is Anti-Terrorism Awareness Month. After signing the awareness proclamation, Colonel Sapp talked about the importance of vigilance. The role that our community plays into protecting us from any threats comes from your own vigilance. You probably have seen the sign, see something, say something as you drive in the gate. Uh, it's more than just a catchy slogan. It's something that we really need to live by. And so I encourage everybody, if you see something that just raises the hairs on the back of your neck, makes you feel uncomfortable, you don't know, you don't want to get involved, the easiest is to just call our DES desk, right? 301-677-6622. It's a great number for all non-emergency things that you just want to make someone else aware. And here's more on vigilance from iWatch Army. Terrorist can strike anywhere anytime. It's up to all of us to stop them. And we can do this together. Don't be a bystander. All of us across the Army community have a role to play and a responsibility to each other. Concerning behavior and indicators of radicalization or violence can often be observed long before an incident takes place. So be an active observer and trust your instincts. Yes, the threat is real, but it can be overcome. To enjoy liberty and prosperity, we must stand strong together, empowering constant vigilance. In a related story, National Night Out is an annual community building campaign held across the country that promotes police community relationships in an effort to make neighborhoods safer. This year, the Directorate of Emergency Services staged a National Night Out for the first time since 2017. If any of you were there in 2017, you may remember National Night Out being cut short due to an intense wind and rainstorm. This year, the weather was much friendlier. This year's National Night Out was different in other ways as well. First, instead of using the parade field, two neighborhood centers, Midway Commons and Heritage Park, hosted the combined event. It's not a crime to speak to law enforcement. It's not a crime to, you know, uh, do the right thing. You know, we're not out looking for uh, crime to punish anyone. You know, we would just like for everybody to do the right thing. You know, come out, be aware of your your neighbors, you know, uh, the, 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 the kids within your neighborhood, you know, safety is paramount to what we have here on the installation. As I mentioned at the top, there are a couple of networking opportunities coming up. First, the Army Intelligence and Security Command, or INSCOM, invites you to the next Tech Expo at Club Mead. The Expo is a biannual event designed to connect government and industry to collaborate on mission requirements and tech solutions. The Expo is coming up Tuesday, September 19th at Club Mead. There is a senior leadership tour from 8.30 to 9, with general admission from 9 to 1. Registration is encouraged. Go to www.militaryexpos.com slash Fort Mead. And finally this week, the next quarterly community job fair is scheduled for Wednesday, September 20th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Club Mead. For details and a list of potential employers, just go to www.mead.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.